You're repressed. We get it. I know. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Yes. How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. Maybe your master didn't, and you're worrying over nothing. After all, master is... very talkative. That's not talkative. Talkative is where someone talks your ear off. First step to learning. Five on. It's okay. I don't, I don't mind. mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because, because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Hmm. Best to let other people find out on their own. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. Yeah. Because we don't look at gods as if they're beings that should constantly deserve respect. Maybe everybody is a friend. For this, I'm very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real adept guy too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend. Whether you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends. Sure, why not? Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do. I must say I like the title of friend very much indeed. It's not a title, but fine. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ning Wong's little helper how the progress is going. After all, Sunset Vermilion I is so rare. I'm on doubt many competitors will really be able to find them. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Now. Oh my god, is it already done? It looks like it's already done. Look, look! The Jake Chamber is floating into the sky! Obvious statement is obvious. Again, obviously, even. Hey, it's not finished. Hey, Hyman! And hey! Um, people Paimon doesn't know? You look familiar. Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peak. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the jade chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we've brought, we brought some new materials to submit. to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The, the construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Uh-huh, and walk away without ever excusing myself. Wow, I can't believe you saw oh, the is plostrite Beto. so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. They don't. Boy, I know you. You're the one who fought against the Batui and Osile, right? Oh, sure, sure enough, enough, your reputation, reputation precedes you. you. Mm. Mm. Pleased to meet you. I'm Beta, Captain of the Crux. Captain of the Crux. Beta, are you here to join the Jake Chamber Contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. Really? So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. So someone else actually did get it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yu, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Niwa opera scene. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler. I'm sure you've heard of them before. And this is... Uh, sorry, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhua. I am their... Friend. <laughs> Good to meet you. 
Well, from today on, I guess all of us are friends. Miss Yoon is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow both, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenha, though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. It will be a long and beautiful friendship, says the opera singer. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. So it looks like the three of us are competitors. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenha, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help her win. In that case, uh -huh. you want to help Ning Wong win? Lady Ningguang said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Well, there are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. Sounds great, but how does it change things exactly? He doesn't go with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss. The plastrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Wait, what? That's what you meant? Interesting approach. Okay, then. All right, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used. We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmonger. Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay. I'm gonna go. Bye. Walk away like weird, awkward NPCs. Okay. What question are you gonna ask Ningguang? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. Ooh, what's the opera called? The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Oh, God. Damsel in distress, divine. I don't know what's making that. Okay, so I do have Beidou as a character, but I do not have Miss You. What now? Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? I don't know what you got. Excuse me, Master John. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry. Um, who's asking? <sighs> is you, Jin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I, I don't know you. Jin? Stage you. Oh, so you must be Miss Yu. <laughs> Sorry. My brain finally caught up. So, Just like my brain. you're here to ask about the Wonder Cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some from Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. Where did you find it? The types of ore needed to make Wonder Cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. No, we were going to ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and some Rosie. Star Splinter If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find something. Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard, of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhong. If you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Sabrosa. Okay. Star Splinter Sabrosia. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel I hear the view there is quite spectacular. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Okay. I'm gonna go to a mountain somewhere in China land and 
<laughs> Figure out where the hell the <coughs> star splitter, whatever that is. I don't know. Attractive. I came to Mount Tianon once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb. Wait, your father was a child? It says father as a child. The, top. the fact that you said father, it, it's like a misplaced modifier to me. Your father was a child and you walked with him? Is that what I'm getting? This is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks. And the gently flowing yes. under the legend of the divine damsel of devastation is said to have taken place here. The divine damsel of devastation is your upcoming love, right? And this what's the story about them? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. So it's sort of like the paper bag princess, except it's the Chinese version of it. Cool! A hero story? The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. Uh -huh. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day... A terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty piece of work! Uh, I might sure hope this monster gets put in its place! Yes. But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. That is definitely what happened. <laughs> definitely what happened. Unbeknownst to anybody else, Why, because she was Tynan sees herself as that little girl. Blade. She approached the monster, oh, you'll see. feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. I'm really starting to think this ha might have something to do with Shinwei. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends, but alas, the paths of mortals and adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. So basically, you're retelling a story of Shen Hui, but as a different like opera story. And so, destined yeah, kind to of. Embrace the mortal realm yeah, for better. You, there's a few uh, misconceptions to this story. That's all I'll see. I really like this story. I really like it. It details my life pretty accurately. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was. Not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she has given. Yeah, because the actual story is where there's a lot of bloodlust and uh, homicidal instinct comes into play. Hmm. I've never considered that before. Because plays don't focus on realism. And even if they did, it wouldn't be a play. It would just be like retelling of a story. Opera or actual events. An interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. In other words, plays lie at some point. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Yeah, because real life is boring, and sometimes people lie to make it interesting. Hmm. I think it's a great story. The idea of the story. Yeah, because that's what you wanted to be instead of being so bloodless. Shut up. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, Spenta. Any secret hidden treasure chests around here? Yes, there is. This obvious statement is obvious. Just passing by, and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. Oh, George! 
Yeah, that porch over there. Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. Why, if that's okay with you, Uncle Ming Jin. Ooh, it's... 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 The rumors were true. So, all these years, I'm sorry I don't know how to find Sabrosia, but I think you can find some information in the village. This place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. Huh? You know this guy, Shinya? She just said it was his, it was her uncle. Uh, thank you, kind sir. We'll go. Don't worry. Mingjun has no ill intention towards Miss Shenha. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. Uh, FYI, in uh, China, when they like say like uncle, it doesn't like always mean that they're like related. Oh, you know what? Like sometimes, like you just like call, if you're like young and like you can call like an old like a, a guy who's like older than you, you can call them uncle. Okay, so it's it's an informal thing. Yeah. I'm probably gonna forget that. So, Shenha is the divine damsel. <laughs> now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> now you're finally getting it! According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shenha said the girl was not as beloved. Looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Make a more realistic to tell a story. There are more clues. Brain's family and extrasensitivity. So it seems that Shenha's father thought he was summoning a benevolent deity using a magic incantation. But in fact, he summoned an evil god's remains, which took the form of a monster. Okay. His obsessive yearning for his deceased wife led to a terrible tragedy. The villagers moved away in fear, without ever learning the truth. Still, I do wonder what the connection is between Shenha and Ninja. Mm. This is it! Yes, uh, as you can agree, the Sabrosian does not wear up easily, so believe the stone to be a bridge from the living and the dead. Uh-huh, however, finding Sabrosian is no easy matter. Need to be at the right place at the right time. Legend has any may find Sabrosium to stand in the middle of the lake south of Mount Tian at dusk and look at the direction of the setting sun. Wow. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tian at dusk and we'll find us some Sabrosium. Let's go back and tell Shinju and Liu. Mm hmm. Should tell her uncle the news. No, I know. You don't have to be related. Back visited, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. You sound different. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. Well... You yeah, couldn't find it within yourself. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If he'd stopped it, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity. So my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. Uh, so if you ask me how I feel about the past, if 
I hate my father or not. The truth is, I feel nothing at all. I really wonder, is it because, like, she was, like, affected by the red ropes? Whatever that is. Whatever magic spell that is. But I also do wonder, like, time heals all wounds. Is it really the effect of the red ropes, or is it the effect of time? Even though the game's like, Dobbs the red ropes! It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shinka, we're back! Yes, obvious statement is obvious. Ugh. And I will leave you all in peace. Shinka, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. Okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time I meet you. Okay. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Uh-huh, and he's like, I want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Walked away awkwardly. Just like that, and it started raining. Awkward. Shut up. Look, this tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. <laughs> Let's, Let's go, then. Okay. <sighs> she also knows. Miss Shanna, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. You cannot deny reality. It's okay. I like, I like your, your version. version. But, uh, my master my once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. Yeah, but how are you going to get over your blood list? But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will, in fact. I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shinra! Yinjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! I would love to tell you to shut up. We can't let someone else beat us to it! No. Can't wait till we get further in the game where her voice gets higher pitched. Sabrosium, where you be? Uh, by gone time, play the passing with for Sabrosium. Found it. Let's head back and report in. So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. Yes. Now it's my time to shine. Yes, it is. Hey, everyone. How's the A team doing? Uh, I don't know. Are we actually? <laughs> Uh, I, I was like, damn it, are we all are all of us the actors from the A team now? Is Mr. T here? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a Wonder Core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Leave the Wonder Cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master John. I'll sort that out. Oh, okay. You got this then? Yes. yes. I have, I have been training, been training with the Adepti for years. I know, I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ming Wang was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils. Master also said she hoped that I could take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. There's there's always basic knowledge that we all lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. <laughs> you guys actually don't know. Now that our paths have crossed, We'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Jean, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. 
I'm actually curious to see how the Adept Eye Arts work. Maybe he'll learn something. Master Shang, Shang, Zheng, and Shang Hei start working on the Wonder Cores and Adept Eye Sigils. Whew. The Sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! Mung's little secretary! We found all the materials! Are you gonna get offended because we called you a secretary? Oh, already? All three of you found them together. Okay. I see. The Wonder Cores and Adepti Sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. Uh, I calls for the precedence to gather. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beidou. Uh, wait, what's my student? I don't know. What? Screw it. It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet. You didn't even start. You didn't do anything. <sighs> I can't believe it. Or as they say in Japan, Shogunite. Uh, oh wait, so this is close. Japan land, this is China land. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ning Wong is waiting for you. Reach for the sky, and then climb into the Jade Chamber. Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Alright then, guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber. This yes. a long time coming. The last we went up to the position. Actually, it was like a couple of our conquests, yo. Bay one leads you to the Jade Chambar. You! Ning Wang! What do you say for yourself? Combine the Adept Eye Sigils with the Wonder Force and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. Thank you all for your work. Now, now it is, it is time, time for me to fulfill my promise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Miss Yun, I've already, I've already heard, heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here? in the newly built Jade Chamber. Oh, well, we're doing up here. The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. Her VA sounds so boring. <laughs> Her VA is so boring. She sounds like she's tired half the time. Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles. Do it on the Jade Chamber. It's truly what a good opera deserves. A traveler, Shenha, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. You're next. What is your question? It's probably about uh, her brother. I should clarify. I do. Not I somehow knew it. Please don't, don't waste, waste your question, question on this matter. Oh, okay. Wow. You're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well. Guess Paimon will ask the question then. Fine, Scrooge. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might. Wow. Capital connections, since it's a business thing. An instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. Capital connections, sensitivity to the trends, and instinct for a good opportunity. In other words, look at Google Trends. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So Ning Wang does not know about her brother. So we managed to figure out Paimon. So I promise you well, I guess I know my uh, answer for how to system. get a business going. I gotta look at Google Trends. I will Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank, Thank you. you. But, but I don't, don't have anything to ask. To ask. Are, you Are you sure? sure? This, this is, is a once-in-a-lifetime item. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a 
No. Lady Ning Wong. Do you, you think, think I can ever fit in in the Yue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. The Yue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in the Yue Harbor. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it. It always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of the Yue, and in short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just want to see the fleet a little later Is Beto not gonna get the uh, question? Me? Nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well think Wong. Don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. Glad to hear it. Watch your Beto? Ningguo? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. Hmm. You want purse? You get to prepare for the liftoff. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood, I stood at the, at the edge, edge of the platform, of the platform and, and looked down, down upon Liyue Harbor, Harbor far below. At that, at that time, time, I dreamed I that, that one day the Jade, Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen at all seven nations of Tibet. Tibet. My I wish has not changed, changed to this very day. day. However, However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Okay. Drive up into the sky. Is that freaking sea god up again? <laughs> 